What is up guys, I'm back again with another video and today's one what we're going to do is I'll be showing you guys how you can make a basic lighting and shadow effect in your paintings, in your sketches or in your portraits or any other digital artwork. We will be using Krita, Krita or whatever they call it, which is an open source software for sketching and digital artwork. But this technique is basically not exclusive to a particular software, you can use it in any other software like Photoshop, GIMP, Inkscape or any other digital art software unless and until it has a layer functionality to it uh, and it is based on layers so yeah this technique will also work on those softwares as well if you're a digital artist or interested in some sort of digital artwork you can consider subscribing because this channel is all about 2d and 3d digital artwork and also you can press the notification bell so that you don't miss anything so before starting off with the proper process or the proper manual tutorial just wanted to mention the pros and cons of this technique so the pros are, first of all, it's very time efficient. You don't have to spend a lot of time in creating shadows and lighting manually. Uh, another benefit is, first of all, it's beginner friendly. If you have basic knowledge of how to use Krita or any other software like Photoshop GIMP, uh, you can basically start working on it. And the last point is that it is not a software exclusive technique. So you can use any other software other than Krita as well. So coming to the cons, the first con is that this technique is very rigid. So that means it does not work on every art style. Uh, if your art style is very much cartoonic, otherwise it won't be working if you're coming from an art style which is much more realistic. And another con is that it does not use proper blending of colors. So again, if you're coming from more of a hyper realistic or realistic sort of art style, this technique might not work for you. So now coming back to the proper manual tutorial, how to get it started and how to actually use this technique properly. Let's jump right into Krita. Let's get started. So here we are in Krita. We have this basic sort of line art which I created. I'm just assuming that you already know how to create this basic line art. In case you don't know how to make it, you can check out the link in the description. There will be a playlist link which you, you can check it out uh, and uh, you can follow a video which is called Anybody Can Draw This. If you follow that video properly, you will be getting a basic sort of idea how to create basic line art. So again, I'm just assuming that you already know how to use the basic tools of Krita. So the first thing we'll be doing is we'll be making two duplicates of this base layer of our line art so that we have three layers in total and the bottom one the last layer over here we'll be using it to fill colors for our painting the flat colors for our painting for example the hair of our painting will be brown in color whereas our skin tone will be somewhere around lightish brown like this you can just fill around or if you want to you can just experiment with various colors as well you can use the color picker and then just use the fill tool to fill around the colors. The next thing, the most important thing is uh, obviously if you want to remove all of these whitish line, you can do it manually as well. I will be skipping that so that you don't actually have to watch the entire process. So over here we have three layers in total just to make sure that we don't get confused in future. What we will be doing is we will be renaming all of these. Uh, the bottom one will be called colors because we will be using this layer. We use this layer for flat colors uh, for our hair and our skin. So just to rename it and call it color. The middle layer will be called lighting and shadows because we will be using it later on for our obviously lighting and shadows. line art because obviously it is serving as a line art okay now what you can do is you can just select our middle layer which is lighting and shadows make sure the opacity of this layer is turned around to less than 50 anywhere around less than 50 and make sure your color is selected to black and start working with this uh, line tool so that you can create these straight sort of lines and as you can see as i'm creating these lines you can see a basic sort of shadowy effect coming into existence you can also use this freehand curve tool to create smooth curve lines uh, especially if you're working on your computer using a mouse so now what you can do is you can use the fill tool to just fill around the colors and now as you can see we have a sort of a basic lighting setup for our image by just using one layer for our shadows but you also have to make sure the layer on which you're making your lighting is in shadows uh, have a very low opacity. It should not be totally opaque. 
So what you can do is you can also use the curve tool with a eraser brush so that you can erase out all the mistakes you have done. So the next thing what you can do is you can just change the color of your brush to white and make sure you have selected the brush tool and just start making these sort of lines like this. I usually use this technique for creating my carry creatures of various celebrities on Instagram. So the carry creatures which I created using this technique will be somewhere on your screen right now. So you can understand how uh, useful this technique actually is or how I personally use this technique to create carry creatures and various uh, drawings and artworks. So yeah, this was pretty much it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Until then what you can do, if you like the video, press the subscribe button again. Uh, you can turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any future updates. If you want to, you can comment down any questions, comments or suggestions. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.